President William Ruto recently dissolved his cabinet, sparing only his prime cabinet secretary, Mr. Musalia Mudavadi, and his deputy president, Mr. Rigadi Gashagwa, following youth protests that happened countrywide. Former cabinet secretary Moses Kuria revealed that there were internal divisions between cabinet secretaries that could reveal more than what meets the eye. Moses Kuria alleged that there was a plot to overthrow President Ruto's government by high-ranking officials who took advantage of the protest that caused unrest countrywide. A section of Kenyans have continued to voice their opinions following President William Ruto's decision to dismiss his cabinet and the Attorney General. Welcome to Zafarani TV, a Kenyan online political platform where I talk about the Kenyan politics and what happened within political circles. If this is your first time to be here, welcome on board. Take a few seconds, hit the subscribe button. And please don't forget to hit the notification button so that every time I upload new content, you'll be notified. Despite losing their jobs, most cabinet secretaries have remained silent, except for the former public service cabinet secretary, Mr. Moses Kuria. Kuria suggested their dismissal had been expected and alleged that it was foiled by high-ranking government officials plotting against President William Ruto. And I quote, some people who were in this government were attempting a coup. We know some people like Ahiana who saw a hand swinging. They thought it was gone and they took advantage of the Gen Z there. This was a clear failed coup. And quote, Kuria disclosed that during an interview with the local media house, Kuria further disclosed the internal division within the cabinet indicating a need for Ruto to reconstitute it to deliver on their agenda to Kenyans. And I quote, we had our problems. Even to have a cabinet committee was a problem. And we needed to give the president a chance to reconvene his cabinet. End quote, he explained. However, most Kenyans have credited the Gen Z for driving positive changes in the government, such as the dissolution of the cabinet. Earlier on, Korea praised the Gen Z for causing a leadership change through protest before being ousted. He underestimated the influence of the Gen Z, referring to them as the Uber and the Fish Finger generation. He expressed a desire to emulate the resilience and optimism for a better Kenya. On the other hand, President Ruto asked Kenyans to pray for him as he searches for competent cabinet secretaries in the country. Nyeri Governor Mutai Kahiga was among leaders who expressed mixed reactions after cab the cabinet was dissolved. President Ruto is yet to name his new list of cabinet secretaries sooner or later.